the things that Frederick is seeing, is it all really just a dream? The difference between dreams and reality may very well just be relative. Oh, and what makes you say that? Well, I don't know. I guess it just came into my mind when I was watching Frederick's face while he was sleeping. Hmm, that may be more true than we know. Perhaps what Mr. Chopin is experiencing is not a dream. Maybe. Only the individual can determine what is a dream and what is reality. Just because his eyes are closed, that does not necessarily mean he is dreaming. However, if he comes to think that the world he's in on the other side is the true reality, then... Then, it's possible he may never return to our reality. Hmm. So you can use magic powers too, Frederick? Oh, but then that must mean you're like me. And that you're gonna die soon too. Yes, you're right. I'm afraid that may very well be true. So, what kind of magic can you use? Well, essentially any and all kinds of magic. After all, this whole world is in my dream. <laughs> You're a strange man, Frederick. No, it's true. Everything around us is all a part of my dream. Even you are just a product of my imagination. Hmm. Okay, then. If what you say is true, can you tell what I'm thinking about right now? If we really are inside your dream, then reading my mind should be easy for you. Of course it is. You were thinking that you don't want to use your magical abilities in front of other people anymore. Am I correct? I don't blame you for feeling that way. No one likes to be hurt. There's something I'd really like to show you, but it's in the forest. Would you come with me? Yes. Huh? You want me to go with you to the forest? You mean right now? Yes, because it can only be seen at night. You want me to go with you in the middle of a forest at night? Ugh, this is gonna suck. They're both level one or two. Let's see what I get. Still on close. Gonna have to do some major grinding in this upcoming dungeon. Enemies are a bit harder. Ugh. <laughs> Mom, I have a friend with me. This is Frederick. Oh. What's wrong, Mom? What? Oh, it's nothing. So her name is Solfage or Solfage? I don't know. Hello, Madam. Please pardon the intrusion at such a late hour. Frederick, was it? You don't look like you come from around here. Is that correct? Uh, yes. 
a journey. I've been on a long journey searching for something. I see. Well, you must have traveled far to get here. Are you hungry? I'm afraid it's only leftovers, but won't you stay for dinner? Dinner? Oh, I couldn't. My mom's stew is delicious. You should stay and try it. Well then, I accept your kind offer. Eat. I think there's an item in... Kion? Oh yeah, and there's only like a couple of characters I can change uh, costume, and that's these three. Just that one. You only get a couple though. Kind of like that one. Let's see. Yeah, what the hell? Angel trumpet. Yes, she doesn't mind if a, if a strange man takes her underage daughter to the forest in the middle of the night. <laughs> Cannot resist that sweet, sweet jailbait. I guess they're not going to let me start doing the uh, session sessions with the uh, score pieces until uh, later. Gonna have to be a little careful during this part because the enemies are a bit stronger. There's a chest. Oh, you bastards, come on! How pitiful, you soulless creatures! should do is just, uh, you know. Ah! Shit, 
gonna see if that's a pathway. I don't think it is. Turn around. Turn. Thank you. Let's fight this guy real quick. You foolish creatures! <laughs> Shit. Where did it come from? And that is death number one. Alright, here's the part where I was a minute ago before I got killed. Let's see if I can get up. Find him. Payback time! How pitiful, you soulless creatures! foothold. This here dungeon. Dead end? Okay, dead end. water. Pretty cool. I mean, the, you know, graphics. Shit. Turn around. Okay, now I'm having an easier time. It's just the first couple of battles in a new in a new dungeon is for the hardest. You knew? There's something. Walking parasol. 